Okay, good afternoon. So, we will start our class now. So, yes, good afternoon. So, we're on the module 5, which is the mathematics of graphs. So, instead of graphing, may have been post time yun ang gamit math um, concept in creating graphs. So, I will just be uh, discussing the important ones because by next week, um, I don't know if some of your teachers have already um, announced it because next week is uh, one week um, mental health awareness. So, wala pong klase yan dyan. At the same time, no output submissions or quizzes or other activities to be given on the week. So, yes. since um, next week is already um, mental health awareness, so magmi-meet po tayo again will be on the December 7. So, this module 5, since I mayroon pa tayong dalawang module, the module 5 and the module 6, before the final exam, kasi final exam ninyo is December 15, 16, and 17. So, <clears throat> ang coverage ng, mod, ng finals niyo will be on the 5, 6, and 7. I mean, 4, 5, and 6. So, by uh, today, I'm be discussing the module 5. And then, um, by December 7, I will be discussing the module 6. So, I compress ko yung module 5. So, I will be discussing only the important ones. And the other ones na definitions lang ang context. Just read it by yourself. Actually, I already gave the topics, I mean the content of our lectures in your Google Classroom. Okay? So, module 6 will be discussed on the... December 7, and then on December 9, you're going to expect... Turn, ma'am. Yes, good afternoon. You're going to expect um, quiz number 5 and 6. The quiz 5 and 6 will be the coverage of the module 5 and the module 6. So, in mod, uh, you're going to have one activity for the Thursday regarding mathematics subgraphs, but the quizzes regarding module 5 and 6 will be after the discussion of the module 6. So, December 7 yung discussion natin sa module 6. Therefore, on the Thursday, which is December 9, will be your quiz regarding module 5 and module 6. Okay? So, yun. Ayan. So, that's it. And since my laptop uh, doesn't cooperate with my PowerPoint, so medyo may, nahihirapan ako ngayon magsulat. Wala po siyang uh, line here. Uh, features na pwede po akong magsulat sa aking PowerPoint. Okay, so going up, we will continue. We still continue. Okay, so module 5 is about mathematics of graphs. Ayan. Okay, so I will not discuss this about graph theory, no, the definitions. So, ipopocus ko yung importante. Okay, this one. This is important one. So, this each, each dot represents the person. Ayan, no? It represents James, the header, Siwan, Jared, and Lisa, and Amy. So, the line segment connecting these two persons or three persons are what we call the line segment. They are connecting the two dots. So it means that if Amy and Heather have to have a line segment, it means that they are connected on a Facebook. Yan kasi oh, given diagram represents friends that are connected on Facebook. So yun, basic natin yan sa mathematics of graphs. Ayan. So si graph I my set of points called vertices and line segments or curves called the edges. So, yung mga points that represent the person is the vertices. While the line segment na nagko-connect sa dalawang person is what we call the edges. Yan. So, wala akong line na Pasensya. Uh, ganin, ganyan ko na lang. So, edges is the line segments or the curves connecting two points or two uh, persons and those persons that represent the points are your vertices. Yan. For example, we have here. So this table represents five students at the college 
Um, wait lang ah, sandali lang. Ay, ma'am. Okay, going back. So, this table is a uh, list the five students of a college where X indicating that the two students participate in the same group. So, for instance, so, si, Ma si Matt at si Ember, meron silang X, so they, these two students participate in the same group. As well as si Matt and Laura. Okay, from this table, how will you represent this using your um, graphs? Ayan. So, meron tayong limang estudyante. So, Matt, Amber, Oscar, Laura, and Kyla. So, yung paggawa ng line, kukunin nyo lang po yung X. Like this one, si Matt and Amber. So, si Matt and Amber create a line segment here. And so, with Matt and Laura. Ayan. Si Amber and Matt, so, meron na, no? And Amber and Oscar. So, Amber and Oscar. Ayan. Ayan po yung X representing the line segment. Okay. Ayan. So, ngayon, from the graph that we have, kasi pag table, pwede naman natin makita, no, ma-answer, which students is involved in the most study groups with others? So, yung mas maraming X, so, yun yung maraming involvement. And what we can see that it's Amber because it has three Xs. Pero pwede naman natin makita yan using the line segment. And we found out that there are three line segment connecting to Ember. So therefore, si Ember po yung um, the most study groups with the others. So which student has only one study group? So yung isang line segment lang. So we can found out that it's Kyla. And so the line segment we have here for Kyla is only one. Therefore, it's Kyla. And how many study groups does Laura have? So look for Laura and we can find that it has two line segments. And same time, meron siyang two excess. So meron siyang two edges. So uh, Laura shares two study groups with others. So ganun na yung pag-answer sa graphs. Ayan. Ito ay basic introduction pa lang yan sa ating mathematics of graphs. Okay. Ngayon, pupunta tayo. Okay, ito na yung import. Uh, that this one is the basic one. So yung another example, no, kasi since I already discussed yung kanina about uh, Amber the Laura. So ito is keep ko yan. Kasi due to limited time natin, yung isang module i discuss ko today. So ipopokus ko yung pinaka important part. Okay, yung definition, please read it na lang, no. Okay. I-discuss ko yung, kasi yung definitions, it will be um, incorporating sa pag-discuss ko sa mga um, examples. Okay. Ayan. Okay. Ang tinawag dito is null or disconnected graph because wala pa silang line. Ayan. Walang connection yung line. Therefore, the degree of each vertex is zero. Since there is no line, there is no degree. Then, the degree is zero. Then, this is a graph that is what we call a null graph or disconnected graph. The graph with a loop, si may loop siya, ibig sabihin, from point A ay bumalik siya ulit sa point A. So, loop po yung tawag dyan. Graph that is not connected. Ayan. Anong ibig sabihin, anong difference ngayon ng null graph or disconnected graph from graph that is not connected? Ang null or disconnected graph, wala ka talaga makita ng line. While the graph that is not connected, may mga lines po siya sa iba, pero hindi siya connected. Uh, it, it means that there are two or three na graphs. Pag i-connect mo yan, as one graph na yan, since separate po siya, so dalawa po yan. Yan. This is a graph with multiple edges. 
Ayan. Bakit siya multiple edges? Oh, wait. Dito tayo. This is a graph with multiple edges. It's because si A and B can be two versus dadaan. Pwede siya dito, sa kabila. Mayroon din dito. Yan po yung ibig sabi ng multiple edges. And so with this one. May dalawang line. I mean, dalawang daanan na pwedeng puntaan. Pwede, sample si A and B. Pupunta siya dito or mag-straight line or pupunta siya dito. Yan. Yan po yung ibig sabihin ng graph with multiple edges. Ang equivalent graphs naman ay this one. E, these three are equivalent while these two are equivalent. Bakit equivalent? Si A connected kay B and so dito din connected kay B. Yan po yung ibig sabihin. A connected to B. Kahit magkaiba po yung kanilang drawing or itsura. Pero for example, si A connected kay B, dapat yung sa kabilang graph si A connected din kay B. Pag dito, B is connected to E. Ayan. Dapat sa kabila, connected si B kay E. Dito din, connected si B kay E. Yan po yung ibig sabihin ng equivalent graph. Lahat po ng connection niya ay connected din sa kabilang graph. Dito sinabi B is connected to D. Dapat si B connected to D. Si B connected to D. Ayan. Si B connected to C. Dapat si B connected kay C. Si B connected din kay C. Yan po yung ibig sabihin ng equivalent graphs. Lahat ng points, kung sino yung connection niya, yun din ang co-connect sa kanya. Okay? Ito naman ay complete graphs. So, we have um, one vertex, two vertex, three vertices. Bakit two vertices? Pag dalawang uh, point, that is two vertices. Pag three points, three vertices. Pag four points, four vertices. And five points, five vertices. Bakit complete graphs? Baki, kasi lahat ng vertices ay kailangan niyang i-connect. For example, here, pag square lang ito, that is not a complete graph. It's because ito dito, pwede pang mag-connect dyan. Ito dito, pwede pang mag-connect dyan. So, yun pang ibig sabihin. Lahat ng points kay ma-connect uh, ma niya. So, complete graphs po yun. Okay. Ito yung kailangan ko i-discuss. No? Si Euler paths and circuits. So, si Euler circuit, anong difference ni Euler circuit and paths? and Hamiltonian circuits and paths. Okay, so hindi ko i-discuss ang, uh, okay, discuss ko na lang ang definition. Okay, Euler circuit, a closed path, closed channel, that uses every edge, but never uses the same edge twice. So, doon tayo sa, I guess, wait lang ah, Ay, wala. Ay, thought meron doon. Wait. Asa na yun? Ayan. Okay. An Euler circuit, a closed pad that uses every edge. Every edge. Anong ibig sabihin? Yung line. Every line, but never uses the same edge twice. So, every line niya dadaanan, pero hindi siya gagamit ng the same line ng dalawang beses. Isang beses niya lang gamitin yung line. Yun yung po ang Euler circuit. Okay? So, for example here, Euler circuit, paano magiging close? Paano magiging close ang Euler circuit? Kasi sinabi dito, Euler circuit is a closed path. So, magiging close siya pag it begins with B, end with B. If it begins with A, end with A. If it begins with D, end with D. So, ibig sabihin, magiging close siya pag it begins and end with the same letter. Okay, take note of that. Um, it will be a closed circuit if it will be end, begin and end with the same letter. Pero... 
since we're talking about Euler, we will use the line segment or the edge exactly once. Isang beses lang gamitin. Like this one. So, ito no. Si B, si D. Wala. I'm so sorry. Wala akong line. Paano yan talaga? Wala akong makitang line here. May sira yung aking PowerPoint. So, just uh, assume nyo na lang to, no? So, going here, B, D, tapos si F, tapos si G, si H, si E, si C, si B, A, D, G, E, B. Basta lahat ng line ay kailangan niyang daanan. Pero isang beses lang. Yun yung Euler circuit, sinabi. A closed circuit. Ang Euler circuit is a closed path. Ibig sabihin, it, is, it, end, uh, it start and end on the same uh, letter or point. Pero gamitin ang lahat ng line isang beses lang. Yun yung ibig sabihin doon. Okay? Euler circuit yan. Okay. Yan. While Euler path, ano naman si Euler path? It is a path that uses every edge in the graph exactly once, but it does not start and end at the same vertex. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya close. Unlike si Euler circuit, dapat start and end at the same letter or point, and uses every edge exactly once. Dito, si Euler path uses every edge exactly once, the same nila sa circuit, pero hindi siya mag-start sa the same vertex. Yun po yung kay Euler path. Euler circuit start with the same vertex, uses edge every out. Uses edge, uh, uses every edge once. Euler path, it will not start on the, or end on the same vertex, but it uses every edge exactly once. So, yung Euler path and Euler circuit ay magkapareho lang sa using every edge exactly once. Yun na yung the same nila. Ang magkaiba lang sila doon, circuit, start and end on the same vertex, path, it will not start and end on the same vertex. Yon. Yan. So I will not uh, discuss this. No? Now we go to the Hamiltonian path and circuit. So anong difference ni Euler path and circuit kay Hamiltonian path and circuit? Ang Euler, edges ang, ang pinapokus. Wait lang ha. Okay, what is the difference between an Euler and a Hamiltonian? Euler, we are focusing only on the edges na kailangan niyang idaan lahat, pero once only. Si Hamiltonian, vertex, which is the point. Dadaanan niya lahat ng point isang beses lang. Yun yung, ibig sabi, yun yung difference nila. Ang Hamiltonian... I mean, ang Euler, isang beses lang daanan ang line. Pero, daanan lahat. Ang Hamiltonian, daanan lahat ang point, isang beses lang. Yun. 
Ang difference ng path and the circuit with a Hamiltonian, syempre, ang circuit, kailangan magre-return siya uli sa starting vertex. Parehas lang din sa Euler circuit. Euler circuit start and end with the same point. Hamiltonian circuit start and end with the same point. Yon. Ang difference lang nila, si Euler, lahat ng line gamitin isang beses. Ang Hamiltonian, lahat ng, uh, lahat ng point gamitin isang beses lang. So, point si Hamiltonian, Euler si line. Okay? Yan ah, teka. Hanap tayo ng sample. So, under it, under kay Hamiltonian, meron po tayong Dirac's theorem. Ang sinabi kay Dirac's theorem, ang sabi kay Dirac's theorem, let n to be number of vertices in the graph. If every vertex has a degree of at least n divided by 2, then the graph must be Hamiltonian. So, paano natin malaman na Hamiltonian siya? We will use the Dirac's theorem. Wherein, if the degree has exactly or at least n divided by 2, then the graph must be Hamiltonian. For example, this one. How will you know if this graph is a Hamiltonian or not? So, we will use the Dirac's theorem. So, we have seven vertices. And then, seven vertices. We have one, the point. I point uh, yung point yung ikakount natin. Point A, point B, point C, point D, point E, point F, and point G. And that is seven vertices. Hence, seven divided by two will give us 3.5. Therefore, Kailangan yung ating each of the vertices, ang kanilang uh, line segment must be greater than 3.5. So, nakita po natin si point A at only 1, 2, 2 degree lang, 2 vertices. Pag degree sinasabi ilang, I mean 2 vertices, sorry. Pag degree ang sinasabi 2 lines. So, meron siyang two lines. So, degree of two. And this is contradicting to the uh, greater than 3.5. So, hindi po nag approve kay Dirac's theorem. Therefore, this graph is not Hamiltonian circuit. Yan. Okay, so ganun lang yung pag-prove kay Hamiltonian. Using the Dirac's theorem. So, we have also, so ito din yung important, no, sa weighted graphs. So, a graph in which each edge is associated with a value, we have, this, is called a, uh, is, this is called a graph or a weighted graph. Yung graph na may value, yung kanyang line segment ay may value. So, in finding the solution for the better or shortest, shorter routes, we can use the greedy algorithm or the edge picking algorithm. Okay. So, anong difference ni greedy and edge picking? Ayan. So, si Greedy, you can choose a vertex to start at and then travel along the connected edge that has the smallest width. So, kaya nga Greedy, no? So, mag-start ka sa isang vertex. Tapos, tingnan mo yung pinaka-shortest or pinaka-mababang number. Yun yung kakainin mo. Kaya nga Greedy. Kakainin mo ang pinaka-mababang edge. While the edge picking... Pupunta, titignan mo muna ang saan ang pinaka-smallest ang weight sa graph. And then, yun ang kukunin mo. Okay? 
So, titignan natin yan through an example. Okay. So, meron tayong example dito. This is um, Aaron, Bell, Carol, Donna, Eric, and Pe are best of friends. The figure on the next page, and then the figure on, you, you can find here, sorry, on next page man to, shows the distances in kilograms. Ay, kilograms, kilometers. From a friend's place to another. If Aaron wants to visit each of his friend's houses exactly once, what is the shortest route that he must take? So, greedy ang gigamitin, gagamitin natin. So, we can start kay Aaron. Kasi sinabi naman, if Aaron wants to visit, so you're going to start with Aaron. Ngayon, galing kay Aaron, ano yung mga ages? We have the 12 age, 12, the 1, the 4, the 5, and the 13. Ayan. So, kukunin natin kay Aaron going kay Bell. Ito. Paano ba yan? Kailangan ko ipakita sana. Okay. So, I guess I'm going to use um, ito na lang, no? Kasi wala akong line. Para mas makita ninyo. Wait. Insert. Oh, shit. Reuse. Ayan. Wait lang, ha? So, meron tayong Aaron to Fe, which is 12. Aaron to Bell, which is 1. Aaron to Donna, which is 4. Aaron to Eric, which is 5. And Aaron to Carol, which is 13. So, among the line segments there, ang pinakamababa na number is Aaron to Bell. That's why itong pipilin ko. Ayan. Aaron to Bell. Ay, sorry. Ayan. So, kay Aaron to Bell, Meron tayong 1. Ayan. Wait lang ha. May tawag ako. Hi ma'am. Okay. Good afternoon. Do you like it? Hola. Good sir. Kung gusto ka magtagpas ko, Ilomars. Ayan, tayo ko lang ako, Ian. Kung gusto ka magtagpas ko, Mars, Ilom lang. Hello, go. Kung gusto ko maabutan ng pasko. Uy, ang nakasog. Hmm? Okay. So, going back. Ayan, no? So, we have, uh, I have selected Aaron and Bell because yan po yung pinakamababang number. Ngayon, from the Bell, meron po tayong 11 going to pay. Carol going to, uh, with a 2. And Eric with a 15. And Donna with a 10. So obviously, going to Carol po tayo because we have only 2 value. Ayan. So iselect ko. Going kay Carol. Si Bell. Ayan. Ngayon. 
Meron pa tayong hindi napuntahan, si Fe, Eric, and Donna. So, mag-select tayo. We will not go back to Aaron or select Aaron because hindi pa tayo babalik dyan. Kasi sinabi, kailangan daanan natin lahat ng friends niya before going back kay Aaron. So, we have Carol to Fe, which is 7. Carol to Donna, which is 3. And Carol to Eric, which is 8. So, obviously, si Carol to Donna. Kasi yun ang pinaka mababa, which is 3. Ayan, i-add natin si 3 dito. Ngayon, from Donna, yan no, from Donna, saan tayo pupunta? It's either going to Eric or going to Fe. Going to Fe is 14. Going to Eric is 9. Then obviously, ang pupuntahan natin is going to Eric, which is 9. Wait lang ha. Ayan. Then, obviously, dederecho na yung kay Fe. Kasi si Fe na lang yung hindi napuntahan. So, dederecho na kay Fe, which is the 6. Then, since tapos na lahat, babalik na tayo kay Aaron. Galing kay Fe, which is the 12. So, from that, you add all of the numbers. So, we found out that it's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus the 9 plus the 6 and the 12. And we have 33. So, ganyan po yung greedy algorithm. Wait lang ha. Okay, so you know ang greedy algorithm. What if you're going to use the um, HP king? So, magkaiba pa yung HP king. May minsan po, may makita pa tayo na si greedy algorithm and HP king ay makaparehas yung kanilang score, which is 33. Meron din, mas malaki yung score ni greedy kaysa kay HP king. Or meron din, mas mababa yung Score ni Greedy, guys, sa kay H. Speaking. Yes, Logan, may question ka? Permission to talk, ma'am? Yes. Ma'am, ano po kasi, ma'am, lobat na po ako, ma'am. Lockout kasi dito sa amin, ma'am. 10% ah, okay. na lang po. Ma'am. Ah, okay. Just um, well, cope up with this one. No? Okay, thank you, ma'am. Okay. okay, welcome. Okay, so may ta may time na mas mataas si greedy kay algorithm at kay edge picking or the other other way around mas ma mas ma maliit yung score ni greedy kay edge uh, kay edge picking. So kung sino yung pinaka mababang score, yun po yung kukunin niyo, okay? For instance, we were going to use the same example, pero ang gagamitin natin si edge picking. Okay, paano sa si H-Picking? Hindi katulad dito, no? Ang ginamit natin is, sa greedy kasi, you start with a point, certain point, which is Aaron. So, ginamit natin yung certain point na si Aaron. So, yon. And then, galing kay Aaron, so, gagawa na tayo ng line. Magsaselect na yung pinakamaliit. Pero, kay H-Picking, isaselect mo kagad sino yung pinakamaliit. Okay, so, Punin ko muna yung line. Okay. Among the value here, sino yung pinakamaliit? Obviously, ang pinakamaliit is 1. So, ilagay ko kay 1. So, kay 1, we have 2, which is this one. 
Ayan, yan yung 2. Sunod kay 2, merong 3. Yan po yung 3. Sunod kay 3, meron bang 4? Merong 4. Yan. Select natin si 4. Wait! Pag select natin si 4, we are, we, are go, uh, we are closing na the circuit. And take note, wala pa po tayong pumunta, hindi pa po natin pinuntahan si Fe and si Eric. So therefore, we will not select the number 4. So ganyan po yung kay HP team. So remove si, eh, si 4. Anong sunod kay 4? We have um, 5. So si 5 ang select natin. Lalagay natin si 5. Yan. Pag if, si 5 yung sa-select natin, so magkakaroon na po ng dalawang line si Aaron, tapos hindi pa po natin nadaanan si Fe. So it means that pag dalawa na yung line natin dito, and obviously, magkoconnect kay Eric ay si Fe, and si Fe ay mag-isa lang yung value niya. So it's either meron po tayong um, more than two na lines na lalabas. Saan yan? Kasi si Fe kasi isa lang. So it's either magkoconnect siya kay Carol, which is Carol ay may dalawa ng line ito. Dalawa na yung line niya. Tapos si Aaron, dalawa na lang din yung line. Tapos si Eric, dalawa na din yung line. So it's either hindi natin uh, isi-select ito. Wait lang no. Kasi pag i-close natin kay Aaron, so medyo meron siyang more than um, two edges. Hindi ka tulad dito, tinan nyo. Lahat ay dalawang edge lang. So, merong more than two lalabas. So, it means that we will not select this one. Ah, yung ito. Sorry. Yung five. Wait lang ah. Since hindi natin select yung 5, obviously, isi-select natin yung sunod niya, si 6. Ngayon, so merong 6, ang sunod sa kanya will be 7. So pag i-close natin si 7 here, pag i-select natin si 7, yan. So, Meron tayong dalawang line. Meron tayong Carol is um, isa pala. Ah, dalawa na yung kay Carol. Pero kay Donna isa. If i-close natin si Donna kay Aaron, merong bakante si Eric na, Eric na isa lang din. So therefore, hindi natin isi-select C7. So, ganyan nyo, no? Si HP King. Medyo mahirapan kay HP King because we are selecting the pinakamababang um, number. Pero minsan, we are using our um, analysis. Kasi instead, uh, in, uh, kahit na ginagamit natin yung pinakamababang number, pero iti-take note ninyo na dapat ay kada isang uh, kada isang tao, dalawa lang yung kanyang uh, line. Okay? So, since we select na si R, uh, 7, hindi siya pwede. How about if we select the 8? Saan si 8? Ito. Wait lang. Pag select natin si 8, Ayan. So, we can already, since si Fe is, um, tawag dyan, sinelect natin si Fe, 
So, pwede isang line pa lang si P, iselect natin si, and si iron ay isa lang din. So, pwede natin iselect na si P and iron. Ayan. Ayan. So, meron tayong Aaron to Bell, Bell to Carol, Carol to, ah, sumobra tayo. Ayan, meron tayong sumobra. So, we cannot select this one nor this one, yung 8. So, ngayon, sumobra kasi siya eh. Ngayon, magsaselect tayo ulit. And selecting Sunod kay 8 is 9. So, dito ka tayo kay Eric. Ayan. Ayan, 9. And since meron na tayong... Since we select this 9, so obviously, iselect natin si Aaron and Fe. So, meron na tayong dalawa here. Dalawa dito. Uh -huh. Dalawa din dito, dalawa din dyan. Okay na, dala-dalawa na sila. So, nag-stop na tayo. Ngayon, so since ang sinabi dito, we will start with Aaron. So, Aaron going to Bell, which is 1. Bell to Carol, which is 2. Carol to Donna, which is 3. Donna to Eric, which is 9. Eric to Faye, which is 6. And fed to Aaron, which is 12. So, this give us also 33 na parehas kay 30. So, ganun po, no? Same lang din sila sa edge picking and greedy algorithm na lumabas. Pero, for this case lang yan. Kasi minsan, may possibility na si, ka, na si greedy ay mas malaki kay edge picking. Or, mas maliit si greedy kaysa kay edge picking. Okay? So, ganun po yung difference ni Greedy and Edge Picking. Si Greedy, start with the point, then tina mo yung pinaka-shortest path. While si Edge Picking, totally titignan mo muna ang lahat ng graph, sino yung pinakamaliit, then create, create a line. Pero with analyzation, kasi minsan pag ginamit mo na yung edge na yan, Tapos bumalik, bumalik na pala without passing to another, to all of the vertices. So mali po yun. So magsaselect po tayo ng another line na sunod sa kanya na pinaka-small. Okay? So ganun po si edge picking. Ayan. Okay, any questions? So ito yung bibigay ko, no? Na activities. Okay, si graph coloring. So, just read this portion, no? Yung graph coloring kasi um, tawag dyan, parehas lang din yan siya, pero color-color lang yung gagamitin na. Kaya nga tinawag na graph coloring. Okay, so for your activity to be uploaded on the Thursday, ito yung gagawin ninyo. So, create po kayo ng table, ng graphs, and then you're going to use an edge picking and greedy algorithm. Ayan. Okay? So, wait for that to be uploaded on Thursday in your Google Classroom. Okay, so that's it. I'm done with my module 5. Do you have any question? My question pa ba? Okay. My question? None, ma'am. Okay, klaro ha. So, yung, tra uh, yung activities yung Thursday will be uh, magbibigay ko ng table and then you're going to create a graph and then you're going to use an edge picking and greedy algorithm. Okay? So, for that, uh, for me to end the classes, I, uh, reminding again, we will not have a going to cl have a class on the Thursday, uh, Thursday on next week. But we will meet on December 7 and for our last lecture, okay? So please open your camera for our documentation today. Hi, okay, ma'am. One, one, two, three. Smile. Okay, another one. 
One, two, three, smile. Okay, class. Thank you for your time. Stay safe and God bless. So, see you on December 10th. Thank you, ma'am. Ma 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 going to have your yes, ma uh, activities on uh, <laughs> this coming Thursday. Okay? Thank Hi, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. Ano sa ang Christmas party, ma'am? Christmas <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Well, recorded. <laughs>